So I was live streaming the other day and we were playing Mario Kart 7 and we were talking about stuff that custom firmware can allow you to do. Um, not only does it allow you to play import games, uh, region free, things like that, it allows you to use the full potential of consoles like the um, new 3DS console. So where this is running at a load more power than the original 3DS, you can unlock it and use it in the game. So you can do it from the main menu from Luma, or you can use boot NTR and do it on the fly. Now, if you look here, if you look how laggy that is as he's walking around. If I give it a run, hopefully I can do this with one hand. Notice how laggy that is. Now that's running on the original hardware. That's running on the original 3DS hardware. So you press the two buttons together, brings up a menu. It's easy to use it in Luma. This is just for example. A CPU clock and it's set to 268 at the moment, which is standard. We we'll stick it on 804 and then we're going to back out. Sorry, just scratching my head. And now we're going to walk around so much smoother. Let's see if I can do the run with one hand again. See that? Now it's running like 60 frames per second, really smooth. Hopefully, you can see the difference. And then we'll switch it back one more time. CPU 268 and then back to that jitter so certain games I don't know why this is what I can't understand with Nintendo this is how it's running now I don't know why with Nintendo they don't allow the option to run the games on the better hardware because I know with like the Scorpio and things like that what they're doing is allowing you to use 4k and things like that or upscale 4k and it does run a bit smoother when you put it on the new system so I don't know why Nintendo don't say, well, you know, you buy this game, if you buy it on the old 3DS, it runs like this. But on new 3DS, it will run at the full speed. And I know they don't want people to feel left out or anything, but it's just kind of, I'm at that stage where I've got a new 3DS, and the only way I'm going to get any uh, advantage of having it is to use custom firmware, which, I mean, it does unlock a lot, but you shouldn't have to use custom firmware just so you can play at the full potential. But anyway, that's me just showing you one thing that you can do. And it's quite, it's quite um, I think it's quite an easy thing to do. It's not too bad with boot NTR, but I'd recommend using Luma. And as you boot into Luma, hold select and keep holding it till the menu comes up and then just setting it to the full speed clock. Then once you've done it once, it's like that with all the games. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.